Hello students. Today we will learn one poem from our English textbook. The name of the poem is The Ant and the Cricket. Students, actually this poem tells us a beautiful story which which gives us a moral. That's why we can say that the poem tells us a fable. Fable means a story which tells us a moral. So we can get a moral from this poem. Let us see what is there in the poem. What is that story? What is that fable? From the name we can understand that the ant and the cricket are the characters of the poem, are the characters of this story. We know what is the ant and some of us know what is the cricket. Cricket is one insect which sings or which makes particular sound particularly in summer season and we know the ant. Ant is a very small creature, very small insect which collects the food particles and we know the different types of the ant in our surroundings but here the small ant and the cricket they have some kind of the relation let us see what they do <coughs> the cricket here in this story, in this poem, the cricket is a young cricket and it's a silly one. It has the habit of singing. As we know, its characteristic is singing, but this cricket has the habit of singing and it doesn't pay attention to other words. For example, when the other insects collect the food particles for the coming season this cricket doesn't pay attention of these activities he goes on singing and singing so <clears throat> because of the habit of singing he forgets collecting the food and one day what happens one day the season changes and winter starts Because of the winter, the snowfall takes place and everywhere he sees everywhere the snow on the leaves, on the plants, on the ground, everywhere there is snow. When he tries to find out the food, he doesn't get any food for him, not a single piece of the food is not seen to this cricket. Now it's a big question for him. There is no food. What will happen to me? He asks the questions. He cries. He complains. What will happen to me? There is not a single piece of food for me. What will happen to me? He cries. He complains. And it happens only because he doesn't pay attention to the work. He goes on singing and doesn't collect the food. Then what happens? Then what he does? Because of the starvation and because of the hunger, he becomes quite bold. He has to do something to save himself. What he does? He straight goes to the ant and after going to the ant, he asks for the food grains, he asks for the shelter to save himself from the snowfall and he says that he is borrowing, he is thinking to return it afterwards. Then, to 
listen the cricket's request the ants reply the ants reply what they say the ant ants say you <coughs> you are saying that you are borrowing from us the full grains and shelter but we ants never borrow and we ants never lend you are our friend we are of very small creatures we are your servants but we have one rule our rule is that we never lend and we never borrow anything to others and you and you are saying that you sang in the summer season you didn't collect the food then the cricket says no it, it's because the summer season is very good it was very pleasant season for me and my heart was so light i felt very nice so i went on singing and went on singing and i didn't collect any food so uh, at present i have no food because the season has changed the snowfall is taking place so i came to you please borrow me some food please borrow some shelter for me listening to the and again says you said you you sang you are saying that you sang then you do one thing now go from here and dance because we can't lend you anything it's our rule we can't give you shelter you do one thing you just go from here and dance because there is snow fall outside so listening the answer of the ant the cricket felt very sad and he left the place and goes from there in this way the cricket faces or the cricket gets the insulting words from the ant students from this we can understand that we should not waste the time we should work what happened to the cricket you can see he wasted the time when there was a good season whereas ant was working she was collecting the food she was making the shelter for the future time so when the when the snowfall took place when the winter arrived she was safe she had enough food grains she had shelter but the cricket was starving of hunger and he has to ask help to the small ant and he didn't get any help and what he got he got the insulting words so it's the wicket of the cricket it's the wicket of the cricket so the <coughs> poet in this poem wants to tell us that we should work hard when there is a proper time we should not waste the time we should work for the future time and again the poet tells that the cricket is having four legs the insect is having four legs but there are the crickets of two legs there there is the cricket having two legs that means the poet wants to tell us that in the human being also there are the cricket that means we human being also behave like the cricket we waste the time and when the time comes 
when there is the need of the things we go to ask to others we request to others we borrow the things and sometimes we get the insulting words so if such things should not happen we should pay attention to our words when there is the proper time we can understand the moral that we should not waste the time when there is the proper time we should work and we should see of the future so so i hope students you understood this poem the and and the okay and this poem has given for your textbook from the isaac isaac poems